Hi guys! In this video, we will be looking at the setting of the novel The Mark by Edith Bulbring. Setting refers to the place or surroundings where an event takes place. In this case, the novel takes place in a post-apocalyptic world after the earth was destroyed by a flood as well as a massive fire. So imagine a world where everything is burnt and damaged and everyone is fighting for survival. The story is set in a dystopia, meaning bad place, where we see corruption, oppression, and despicable acts take place in society. The setting of this novel is similar to movies such as Divergent and The Hunger Games. You almost expect a zombie to be mentioned at any moment. Basically, a zombie apocalypse minus the zombies. In this novel, we see harsh weather conditions, where the sun burns blisters on your skin. People can only walk in the streets if they smear on sunblocker. The public services are horrendous, often sleep on mattresses on the floor, and people are so hungry, they begin to eat mutated flies. These images provide a sense of what we expect in the mark. The environment. The genre of the story is science fiction. The world had suffered a massive fire known as the conflagration. The fire caused the ice caps to melt and therefore caused massive flooding in certain parts of the earth, covering entire cities underwater. There are no more trees or plants because the soil can't germinate seeds anymore. In the novel, we see a certain hierarchy in place. At the top are the Mangarians. They are the elite, rich people in power. They form the government. And the Mangarians live in a place called Mangaria City. Below the Mangarians are the posh, rich people, the upper class members of society. They also live in Mangaria City. Below the posh, we see the traders. They are the lower class people and they live in Slum City. Below the traders are the past traders. These are trades that traders that are too old to work and they live in Section PT, which stands for Section Past Traders, which consists of horrible living conditions. Below the past traders are the rejects. The rejects are traders or individuals who are damaged or who were born with disabilities. They are unable to work and therefore are considered to be rejects. They live in the reject dumps or on the rooftops of buildings. We come across various trades in the mark. Trades refer to the careers that people have. The first trade that we will consider is a drudge. A drudge is a servant or a person who is destined to serve the Mangarians or the posh. For example, their job consists of being a kitchen hand, a cook, a child minder, or a cleaner. A scavy is a sea scavenger who searches the ocean for relics or treasures from the old world. A pulak is an individual harnessed to another person or a team to pull a vehicle filled with people. In other words, a taxi. A drainer is an individual who cleans the streets. A pleasure worker is an individual who entertains the posh by dancing, singing and using their other talents. The pleasure workers are stationed in pleasure clubs. Locusts. They are the policemen. They wear yellow and green uniform and a helmet that resembles the insect locust. Market nags. Individuals who sell a variety of goods in the market in return for credits. Basically street vendors. Mooty nags, a common name for a person who practices magic, 
a witch or a person who dispenses medicine. In today's day, we would consider it to be a Sangoma. Here is a summary of all the trades we find in the mark. I'm a visual learner and I wanted to design a map that could illustrate the divide between the Mangarians and the traders. As you read the novel, you will get a better idea of where each event takes place. The Mangarians enjoy their riches and pleasant neighborhood in Mangaria City, while the traders live in horrible conditions in Slum City, two extremes divided by a single river. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this has helped you gain some insight into the setting of the mark. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions. Bye!